Good morning guys, welcome back to KC Farms. I am on my way to the post office. We are picking up another batch of Cornish Cross chickens. We're getting these young ones out today. They're just two weeks old. We're gonna get them outside in a tricking tractor. And we are gonna be talking about why our favorite meat bird is the Cornish Cross. Stay tuned. All right, guys, big surprise. We're back from the post office. Bless you, it is bright outside. We didn't, our chicks did not come in today. Supposedly they're coming in tomorrow. They went to a different hub and I don't know. It's just been a disaster with the post office for us. But guess what you're getting tomorrow for your birthday? Chicks. Yeah, we're gonna get baby chicks. It is Brooklyn's 11th birthday tomorrow. So we'll be celebrating that, getting some chicks. We do have other plans though, I promise. Okay. <laughs> So, I'm fine with just chicks. All right, well, maybe we'll just do chicks, but we're gonna take the chicks that are in the brooder and we are gonna put them into a chicken tractor. And since it has been hot, and I talked to you guys on last video how hot it was here and you guys were responding, I wish it was as hot as it was there because you guys have it much worse than we do. So sorry about that, but we have raised the sides. You can see we've taken the plastic sides up so they can get a draft through there to get a little more air. We're gonna do the same thing on this one before we bring the chicks out. So let's get that set up. Okay, we've got the sides put up and that just lets a nice draft come through, helps keep these guys cool. They've got plenty of shade because the tarp, but uh, now they have a good draft that can get through. So Brooklyn and I are gonna head back and we are gonna get the chicks out of the brooder. They're two weeks old. And so we're gonna get them out and get them outside. So that's one good thing about this heat. Um, you don't need a heat lamp as much when they're young and you can get them out a lot earlier when it's not getting cold at night. So let's go grab them and get them outside. All right guys, we've got 30 birds. I believe they sent one extra, so we've only lost one. So this has been a great batch. I think a lot of it's due to the temperature and I think this new brooder has been nice, but a nice healthy batch of Cornish Cross. So let's get them out and get them on some fresh grass. Right, guys no matter how nice a brooder you have for your chickens nothing ever replaces getting them out on grass in their natural natural habitat we've got some up there looking through the screen there but these guys are two weeks old doing well enjoying being out here i'm sure we're definitely enjoy having them out here we've got the feeder normally we use the watering pans i've got this here I just wasn't sure if they were going to be tall enough so we'll use this for a couple days until we figure out if they're able to use the other kind um some reason some of the reasons people don't like cornish uh people call them the frankenstein chicken i mean as they grow out sometimes they don't have as many feathers underneath because they put all that energy into growing in size rather than feathers especially when it's hot out they don't feather out as much so that's one reason people don't like them. Um, you can't reproduce them. And I don't know all the ins and outs behind that. They're a cross between a couple different breeds. Um, I've read about it, but I don't know enough about it to try and explain it to you guys. 
Um, but while we're able to get Cornish, we choose Cornish for one main reason. And that is because the time it takes to grow them out is only eight weeks. So these guys are two weeks and here's what they look like at eight weeks. So in just a couple days, these Cornish are going to be eight weeks old. And that is the biggest reason why we choose Cornish Cross. We've lost one of these, I believe. Um, but even with the losses, we just feel like we're getting way more meat for what we're putting into them compared to the others. We've done Freedom Rangers, we've done Sagitas, and I got a picture here. We had one Cornish Cross at eight weeks compared to two Sagitas in one bag at 12 weeks. And it just is not worth it. The amount of money we're putting into the birds with feed, that's an extra month of raising those other birds. Um, so it's just not worth the amount of money we're putting into feed for the product we get out of that. So these are the way to go. We love them. You can see they're hot today. I did open up those sides and they get that nice cross breeze. So that's kind of helping them out. So you see, they're kind of mutant looking. They're not the prettiest chickens, but when you get that finished product on your table, it is well worth it. So we love the Cornish. They do bring a lot of things just besides meat. If you look down, we're getting ready to move them, but all this manure is fertilizing our property. They eat, they poop, and they sleep. That is about what they do. Some people like to have them, let them get out. We've tried fencing and they don't come out. They like to stay by their food and water. So we move this twice a day just to keep them off their manure and keep that manure spreading. And it's also nice to be able to concentrate that manure where you want it. You can see behind, we've got some tracks where they've been coming up and down the yard. And that is what these young Cornish will be doing over here. We'll be running them up and down. So these guys are gonna be ready for butcher this weekend. We've got our class. Well, when you see this video, we're actually going to be butchering. These are our next butcher class and they are gonna make a delicious product for our table or someone else's table. So that's why we choose the Cornish guys just the, the amount of time it takes to raise them and the size of the bird at finishing product is the way we like to go. And if you like the other breeds, that's fine. We've done the Freedom Rangers. We enjoyed that product. It was just an extra month of raising them out, putting an extra month of feed into them. And so we are trying to eventually make some profit on our farm. And so that is the way to go. And these are the ones they do raise in factories but at least we get these out on grass in the sun, they're getting bugs and everything else that a normal chicken would be getting. So these little ones are starting to move around. Let's check them out really quick. They are enjoying being out already. They found the food, that never takes them a long time, but they are doing well. We're happy to have them out tomorrow on Brooklyn's birthday which is Thursday, you won't see this till Saturday, we will have another batch in the brooder. So we gotta get that brooder cleaned out for them. But we also rolled over a nice little milestone for our channel um, just the other day. We hit 5,000 subscribers. And when we hit 500 subscribers, Brooklyn made me do a cartwheel. So we're going to see if these have improved anymore. So she can't do it with her boots on. So 5,000 subscribers. Let's see the cartwheel. Not bad. Do I need to do one? Yes. Oh, geez. Mine was horrible. This... 5,000. 5,000 subscribers. Yay. <laughs> well, I don't know if... Uh, I don't know if the cartwheels have improved, but Mine hopefully definitely didn't. It was horrible. <laughs> hopefully the channel has improved, but we just wanted to say thank you everyone that's taken the time to hit that subscribe button. We appreciate you guys following along. Uh, it makes us, it keeps us motivated to keep putting out content. Hopefully that you enjoy. I know 5,000 isn't a huge number for YouTube channels, but when we look at it, we remember the first 10 that were probably all family members and uh, we were excited at 10. So to see that 5,000 the other day just blows our minds. So we appreciate you guys following along. 
Um, we want to do a little something for you guys that have subscribed. So if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button already to get in this little giveaway we're going to do. Uh, we want to give away a Make the Change t-shirt. Um, if you don't know what the heck Make the Change is that we've been talking about at the end of every video, we'll post that video here so you can check out what Make the Change is. And we hope it encourages you to make a change in your life as well. So all you need to do is comment below on this YouTube video. If you comment below, we're going to put your name into the drawing. We're going to let the contest go a week or so. You can follow along on Facebook and Instagram and we'll let you know when that drawing is. When we do the drawing, we'll announce a winner. I'm sure we'll make a video about that as well. So we'll announce that winner. You'll send us your information and we'll ship you out a free Make the Change t-shirt. So we just want to give a little something back for you guys supporting us. Let you know we appreciate you guys. And if you haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe to us on Instagram and also Facebook. And don't forget to make the change. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next video.